What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Easy Does It. Back with a little banana hammock update. Uh, today I just sort of wanted to go over my plans for the bike moving forward, like, you know, what I, what I plan to do with it and, you know, where it's sort of at. The bike hasn't really moved since I made that video basically announcing that I got it. My idea was that uh, I wait till all the parts are in then register it, then pull it apart, and I'll have all the parts there to do what I want to do, you know? So we're starting to get a couple of little parts come in. Uh, the first couple have come in. You know, there's 10 or 12 more parts that I've got basically just waiting for them to show up. And I don't really want to start anything until, until they're all here, because then I can just go for broke and not waiting on anything. So for today's video, I just wanted to sort of go over what my plans are for the bike. Get dirty and still filthy. And I'm gonna break the bike down into the front section, the mid section. So that's pretty much goes back as far as, as the seat. It's the seat. And then just the tail, the tail section of it. So if I break it down into three parts, then it makes sense for me. Because when you look at a whole project and you look at the whole thing, it can be overwhelming. But when you break it down into sections, it works better for me personally. Because if I look at a whole thing, I'm like, fuck, that's so much work. But when you break it down, it doesn't seem so bad. Starting at the front section, what my plans are, basically we're gonna delete, delete the front fender completely. Um, I will keep the tabs, like all the mounting tabs and stuff here, so that I can put the front fender back on if needed. But if, you know, if the cops ever give me a hard time about it, I'll, I'll have all the mounting brackets so I can just mount it back up. You can keep the forks the same. Uh, obviously they need a bit of a clean up, like this is all pretty, pretty tarnished. So hopefully we can clean that up all right. The triple trees here, they're pretty, pretty far gone. I'm thinking I might paint them black or, or something, but I'm not sure just yet. We'll see how they clean up. We've got a new headlight for it. We're gonna go like smaller and yeah, try and really make the front end as minimal as possible. So I'm gonna go small headlight and tuck it in between the fork tubes. Uh, the indicators I have to keep for legal reasons, uh, but we, you know, we're gonna go much smaller and much cooler. Uh, so I've got some new indicators coming. As far as the speedometer and stuff goes. I do plan to get a much smaller one. Yeah, this one's quite a big and bulky, but the, the downside of replacing the speedometer is if you see the triple trees are sort of cut to fit around the speedo. So if I replace this, it may look a little odd. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a smaller one to sit in there. It's a little 50, 50 millimeter one. Um, to sort of reduce the bulk up the front here. Going to get rid of this. Uh, Going to probably put different risers on it because these ones sweep back. So we might put some that just come up straight because I don't really like that sweep back kind of look. Uh, obviously we're going to get rid of all this stuff. And when it comes to the handlebars, this will probably be the, the hardest part of the draw, I think anyway. Going to try and reduce the amount of cables I've got up here so I'm going to internally wire you know, most of the electrics obviously keep the uh, the brake cable and stuff but I'm going to try and reduce this as a, a dual throttle dual throttle cable so I'm going to try and reduce these throttle cables down to a, to a single throttle cable over the other side we've got the uh, the clutch cable which is obviously going to stay We'll try and internally wire everything else. And the choke here, I focus. The choke I want to get rid of completely and maybe just make the choke adjustment down on the actual carburetor. Mirrors, I'm gonna delete them off, off the handlebars here. I, I think these mirrors are ugly as all get out. So we'll delete these mirrors and we'll mount them up differently. The handlebars themselves are going to be replaced. I've got some bars on order, so hopefully they'll be here. I think they're being sent out mid-September, so hopefully they won't be too far off. Uh, so for the front end, that's mostly 
it for my plans. I don't want to change wheels and brakes or any of that stuff. So yeah, that's that's sort of where I'm at with the front at this stage. Oh, and I am, I do plan to completely change the controls as well. So my idea is to delete these controls altogether and then replace them with little little ones that I've actually got on order as well. So I'm gonna do all the re, like rewire all of the handlebars, which is gonna be the trickiest part, I think, of the whole build. I'm gonna test my limited skills, that's for sure. So moving further back to the motor, I don't really wanna play with the actual motor too much itself. Um, I don't think I'll really do much apart from tidying it up, like make it cleaner and better looking. As you can see here, it focuses. All of this is pretty bad, so hopefully I can clean that up and make it look a bit, a bit nicer. That's mostly my plan with the engine, is just to make it run nice. I don't want to mess with the internals of it too much. Uh, I do want to take these, this air, these air cleaners off, I think they're bulky and ugly. Um, it's got one on the other side as well, which I'm not even sure if that is an actual air cleaner, if it's just there for make it visually balanced. But uh, I know the air cleaner I'm going to take off and put a little pod filter there. Ideally, I'd like to have the air filter off the side of the carby, but I know that the air runs actually through here and up through the frame and then down into the carburetor that way uh, underneath the fuel tank here. So it's, um, yeah, if I was to do something like that, it would be a lot of fabrication work with the actual frame cutting all out of this gusset and everything, which I, I really don't want to get into. So I'll probably just take these off, put a nice little pod filter there and delete all that bulk. Obviously I'm going to try and get rid of all this wiring, tuck it up behind, underneath the tank, which is going to be different as well. I'm going to get rid of this tank. Um, I don't like the shape of it, so we're going to do like a little Frisco mounted sporty tank or something. So hopefully we can tuck up some of this wiring, clean up all this headstock because this, this area is just, just so messy. Uh, the exhaust, I probably will keep. I actually don't really mind the exhaust. It's a little bit roughed up, but I'm not, this bike is definitely in no way, shape or form gonna be a show bike. It's gonna be a bit sweaty, which, you know, I like. You know, I like choppers that are sweaty. I don't like all the shiny ones. I don't mind the shiny chopper, but I really, really enjoy the rough, sweaty ones. So that's what I sort of plan to make this, which is good for me because that means I don't have to be, <laughs> everything doesn't have to be so polished. So, the exhaust will probably stay, the engine will probably stay mostly, mostly the same internally. Uh, we'll redo the carb, clean all that out, obviously delete the, the, the air filters and change them up, delete the tank. Different seat, we're going to do like a, a solo seat, um, rigid mounted, so no springs or anything like that. So that's moving into the back section though, but controls, I don't really plan to move. They do do a mid section, mid mount peg for these which I would like ideally but this front peg is actually not that far forward so it's you already it's already a pretty short stance on it so once the seats lower uh, because the, the, the new seat that I want to get is is much more slim than this so that's going to bring you closer to the pegs so I don't want to really move them too far from where they are because it's already a pretty pretty short stance moving to the back section, which I think is going to require the most fabrication. My plans are to delete these and put some rigid, rigid struts in. Ideally, you know, I'd like to do a whole hardtail set, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to bite up more than I can chew in this first go. I want to sort of do something that I feel is achievable, and then next bike I'll do something like that. But yes, rigid mounted shocks, which I'll make up myself. Keep your swing arm the same. Keep the rear wheel the same new rear fender so yeah we're going to do a shorter fender probably cut it back to about here somewhere new indicators obviously we'll get rid of this this rack or pillion seat we'll get rid of all that different tail light we may do a small sissy bar uh, the sissy bar I probably my idea for the sissy bar would be to just a short sissy bar probably not much higher than what this rack is and on that sissy bar I'll mount the tail light and the uh, the number plate 
but I'm not, I'm not sure on that. It depends, depends how it all, it all sort of goes. Obviously much smaller indicators, cool tail light, but that's the, uh, the idea so far. I think it'll be a cool little bike when it's done. I know once you get into a bike, you're gonna find problems and find issues and things aren't gonna work the way you want them to. So we'll, uh, we'll just have to see how this goes, but I'm excited to get stuck into it. So yes, I have one more surprise for you guys. Uh, as you know, it's called the banana hammock because it is yellow and banana-y. So I have a mascot for the build. Come on. Come on. Alright, here he is. If he'll stay still. Sit, wait, boost. Sit. There he is, banana hammock dog. Look at that banana. What a good mascot. Come get the chair. Come get the chair. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Uh, if you're excited to see what the future of the banana hammock is, you know, or if you're just excited to see how I build it out, you know, and, and you're new here, hit subscribe. You know, if you think if you think this is going to be a fun little build, give me a thumbs up on the video. It'll be much appreciated. And if you're just excited about seeing a dog in a banana costume, then that's all right too. You don't even care about the bike. It's my dog. We're going to put down the question. What are you doing, Papa? Anyway, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Give your boy some love. God knows I need it. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. I'll catch you all on the next one. Yeah, goodbye.